But anyways guys, so we got Colin here. Uh, like I was telling you, he has a little bit of knowledge. We're calling Grant. Um, now he's about to come out. Grant, say hello. Hello? So anyways, uh, guy got Colin here. Uh, we're in the beater, you already know. He's uh, already got a little bit of knowledge and especially because he's got some dirt bike and motorcycle knowledge. And he understands how, you know, a transmission affects the way that your, you know, flywheels being engaged and disengaged and all of that power output and all of that, like rev matching basically is more understood. So he's going to kind of tag along while Grant's learning the basics, reiterate all the fundamentals for himself and then get some real good practice in shifting through the gears, starting at, from a stop, starting on a hill, um, you know, rev matching and downshifting. So. What's up? So, we got Grant, almost a car full now. Uh, we're on our way to a park where these two can have at it. So yeah, see you guys at the park. Hey, first things first, seatbelt on, you're right. I was not gonna say that, but you're right. That is the first thing. Second thing, foot on the brake pedal, cause we're rolling. That's a clutch, man. That's a brake pedal. The middle I one. Say, now you're gonna be jogging <laughs> the brake pedal. The middle one is the brake pedal. Okay, first things first, put the e-brake down. It's down. Okay, we're good. Do the motion. Do the motion. Okay, okay, here we go. So the first thing we're gonna have them do is put it in first and with no fuel, with no throttle, we're gonna get him to get the clutch pedal all the way out and be moving forward. So that's gonna be teaching stick point which is the point at which your clutch engages the flywheel. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing first. And then after that, we're gonna have him basically find an RPM that he likes, keep it there. It's gonna be difficult because the throttle cable on this is a little stretched, but keep the RPMs at a steady RPM whilst letting out the uh, clutch. And that'll be your throttle control. Once he's got those two down, we'll go into multiple gears like going from first to second second to third first to third whatever starting in third maybe if he's good enough and yeah so talk to you guys actually no i won't talk to you you'll see the footage here you go yeah. when, and now it's important that you don't roll back into him so <laughs> just keep the wheel straight give me any instructions i don't know what the fuck I'm pushing the clutch in well, first of all, did you adjust the seat? Got it. This, this works for me. I can do it right here. Okay. So you want to engage the clutch. Okay. Now put the gear selector into first gear. So that does not be all the way over, but like right. Or I guess it is all the way over. It's all the way over to the left. Okay. Yeah. If you go, it's just means down. Just make sure it's in there. Now what? So... Slightly. Ever so slightly, let up with your left foot. Off the clutch pedal. Yes. Yeah. Until Can I you come off the brake. Nope. Or? Keep it. Keep it engaged. So until you start to feel resistance, like the car is trying to move forward, and then basically hold. It. Yeah. See. Okay. Let off now the let off the brake. Completely. Yep. Yeah. Because it won't. Oh. Not the clutch completely. Yeah. The not the clutch. The, the clutch you want to let off a little bit. Think of your clutch as your throttle. It is your throttle right now. But it is also we're in a tiny car, so I'd let them do that. <laughs> you want to hold it there, the hold in. the hold the clutch there, at that stick point. Oh, hold the clutch in. Hold the clutch in. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Oh, yeah. I install it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Whenever you're stopping, full clutch. Yeah. So now what do I do? Put the clutch in. Put it in the neutral. Yeah. Turn it on. Oh, hold. Well, now you're in neutral now, so you're good. Turn it on. Well, you still need the clutch to turn it on. Oh, you do? Yeah. Turn, oh, I did. Turn yeah. the key back. No. Oh. This time, remember, when in doubt, clutch out. Yeah. When in doubt, you can shove the clutch back in and, and nothing is going it. to happen. Mm -hmm. Nothing bad will ever happen by shoving the clutch in. 
ever. In in safety situations, always push the clutch in. Which when is you're braking why. excessively, stopping, yeah. um, coming up on a heavy turn, clutch in. Turn so the transmission's like turning it off. Yeah, you're pretty much doing two jobs now. You got two things going with the transmission. Well, You've think, got the think about your engine as spinning, and then when your transmission is spinning and touching it, right, everything's fine. But then when your transmission's spinning. Or when your engine's still trying to spin, but your transmission won't let it spin, obviously it's going to stop. You know, it's just ceased. So then it kills it, and that's why we lose power. Wow. It's like just this. It's all you. All you got to do is match the speed of two plates spinning, two separate devices: your transmission plate and your engine plate, right? And the clutch is what combines them. So when I hold on, so let's let's like when I get to my second point. Mm -hmm. I can just release off the brakes slowly, and then yeah. I'll just start rolling at this. No, you don't just start rolling at your sticking point. You would That's stay right, still. Right. You would stay still. Alright, we're in first. Sticking point. Oh, oh, careful. So I kind of release off the brake and off of it at the same time? Mm, no, you want to find your stick point before you release the brake. Yeah. Hold your foot steady at the stick point, then release the brake, and then decide at what speed to release your left foot. Almost okay. It's like a checklist. Yeah. Yeah. So that one I was watching yeah, before, it, it was jerky because of the car. Mm -hmm. That one was jerky because of the car, not because of you. So it's yeah. really just like a smooth lift it's gonna all be the way up. It's so it takes so much like control, like it's like a finesse a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, because you your every instinct says go back in, come back out, go back in really quick. You want to just sit there and fidget with you it. You want to get going right, like an auto automatic car. It's yeah, it's just not like that. You gotta feel it. It's response. Well, I mean, even when and even when you're good at it, like even when you got a guy that like drives a manual daily, there's still that that bit of feeling that you get because of it's just being it's a different transmission. Oh, you're, you're in neutral. neutral. You're good. I didn't even shift. You're good, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Usually helps. Usually helps being in gear. Oh, oh. Stalled it. So I just came up way too slowly. You're in first. You're still in first. That's it? Uh, yeah. So go in a little bit more than that because that's pulling on you a good amount. Yeah. Now, very ever so slightly. That's better. <laughs> That's better. That's smoother. I'm going for smooth, smooth though. So it's more about it's like. So you're doing it too fast. Okay. Straight up. <laughs> you're going smooth with your foot, but it's based on the engine. It's responsive. It's not, you know, it's not based on just just how you do it. You, you do have to adjust for the way that it reacts. Neutral. Yeah, it wasn't gonna be a quick process. No, it, it's just like it's not natural. It's not natural right now. Once it gets natural, it just becomes second nature. So, so that was that was a lot better. That was very smooth. That was very smooth. Very smooth. And I don't want to discredit the smoothness, but I want you to learn. So the reason that we started moving as soon as you lifted your foot off the brake was because you were just a little bit past your sticking point. Correct. So, as long as you know that and you were smooth, then the next time should be spot on, right? Let's crank that heat down, please. Uh, yeah, Fucking weird. dying in here. It was a little too far for your stick point. You're probably on it right there. Uh, if you went maybe a quarter inch in. You doing throttle now? Keep going. You can turn. I was just gonna talk. Um, thinking next, what I would have you do is make that turn, and like we're gonna go all the way back around to where we just were. Do the same start. Make that turn and go into second after that turn. Start with throttle right here. Yeah. So foot on the brake. All right. 
clutch in the first gear now keep your rpm steady it doesn't really matter where preferably like low between 10 and 20. yeah just so, keep wait. them steady so like pick a notch there and keep the keep the dial on that notch no matter what so like coming off the brake right now already well yeah okay. and i'm getting to my stick point i'm getting oh, i'm getting into 1500. Well, really you know your stick point right ish yeah so right now we're just finding we're just keeping the throttle we're not actually going yet i'm just having it's kind of like an exercise yeah just at uh 15 just keep it chalk right at 15. So 15 is going to be hard because it's in between the, the, the notches. So I would just pick one of the notches in the middle there. So yeah, that's 15. That's perfect. So then at what you're going to feel is as you're finding your stick point, that's going to drop. You want to adjust. This is called throttle play. You want to adjust your throttle just ever so slightly. You're going to have to get on it a little bit more to keep it at 15, right? You want to keep it steady all the way until your foot has released the clutch completely. So at all, at, as you come out with your left foot of the clutch, it's consistently going to try and drop the RPMs. And that's why it's like a pendulum. One comes out, the other goes in. You know what I mean? So you're going to constantly have to adjust for more fuel and it's still just going to keep the car at 1500 RPMs. That's the smoothest start that you can have is if the, the RPMs don't move. And like pros, you know, they still don't even fucking do that on every start. Okay. Good deal. So that's that's the start with throttle. So, okay, step by step, I would do it the same step by step is find your stick point, then let off the brake, then find your RPMs. You know what I mean? And but then, you have to make sure you find your stick point, not above your stick point that way you don't start moving and you're not forced to to add throttle you know what i mean and then as you slowly let out of your clutch it'll drop and you just add more more throttle accordingly that makes it easier for me i don't know i need to see like numbers and shit i don't know i guess that's how my brain works what the, the yeah gauges, that helped like that helped, me. helped? Yeah. good all right Yeah, I think um, that was good throttle adjustment until you thought let out the clutch and then it seemed like your yeah. feet just kind of stopped at that point. Okay. Alright. So same thing? I'm starting to figure out where the stick point is. Right. Mm, see, but and once you felt that that drop so suddenly, instead of Should I, you could it? either do one of two things: shove the clutch back in and start over, which would in traffic risk the rollback, you know, mm -hmm. or adjust with throttle. Power it out. Yeah, adjust with throttle. But for learning purposes, it doesn't matter either one. But in traffic, powering out is usually because forward is mm -hmm. the way you want to go, not backward. And especially. So would you like to try and get in the second? Yeah, we can. So or just, do you want to keep going with first? It's up to you. It's whatever you feel more comfortable just with. Just clutch in and then drop it to second and then clutch back out to sticking point and add gas again. And make yeah. Basically the same shift. Yeah. Um, yep, but your sticking point is less important. So your throttle, your throttle RPM staying steady is more important and your sticking point, uh, you don't really want to reach it until you're ready. Because if your RPMs are too low when you're clutching gauges, you'll be, you know, you'll be thrown forward. If you're, you know, so you'll feel the lunge. Yeah. So basically, you want to get your RPMs up to your ideal steady point before you start to let off of your clutch at all. That's and you all. can figure that out just by by sound. You know what I mean? Like you don't want the thing going. Rrrr. You know what I mean? You want to quiet it back down again. Well, I think it's more about finding what the right RPM is for going into that gear at your speed, which changes based on how fast you're going and all that other stuff. So it's you really just have to feel it. It's it's just don't don't find your sticking point. Keep it completely engaged, and then once you start to let out, as soon as you start to let out, you should already you should have already kept your throttle steady. 
so your throttle should just adjust from there. Alright, we're gonna go for it. Yeah, word. Let's go. Cause like I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about you. If you over rev it, over rev it. As long as we go forward. <laughs> and don't stall. Was there? Yeah, I think. Yeah, when you see that stuff start to go down, raise it back up. Don't be afraid. Yeah. So clutch kick second. Keep it at a two two k. I'd say. Oh, you put it in neutral. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all neutral. So you want when you're switching gear, you want to make sure you're in that gear because you're in floppy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go in a second real quick. Just feel it. Mm -hmm. That was all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess first, and then do turn around, and then try it. Mm -hmm. So that was good, like adjustment. You Not know, yet. you got yourself out of the situation good once it started to get rough. Now it's just about feeling as it's starting, it's feeling it before it gets right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I slow down too much in first. Oh. I just click this over for to turn on. Or faster than I anticipated. I thought it was like level three. Alright. I think you're on level one now. Level two. Yes sir! Yes sir! Alright, now flick it in a second. Just do the same thing. That's oh, you, you, yeah, when you when you do it, fucking full on go dramatic yeah, with the yeah. gear shift. You, to you want to get in that gate. that gate. And that was a good shift a second too. It was a little, little iffy, but I wasn't watching, so I don't know. Could have been throttle, could have been clutch. No, that was good, Grant. It was really good. Well, shit, I have improved. Very much. have to stay steady so that was constantly growing you know what I mean <laughs> Just and that's what's gonna break that's what's gonna break, what's gonna gonna break that it. traction dude this is the big problem is this foot is so dominant I'll do everything with the pedals with this foot so bringing this guy in is my hard problem that feels weird very 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 fucking weird My big thing is, yeah, is actually looking at the RPMs, and then my thing is too, is like our big problem is going ahead and just pushing up on it. Right here where you get it, just almost play with it like you like kind of play with the throttle trying to keep the same speed, you know what I mean? Just kind of cruising. That's how I'm kind of getting it. 
Alright, let's try again. With your stick point? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. I'm like from the stick point I'm now using it as almost like kinda like playing yeah. it with feather, well, it, feathering it, it like have a throttle. To sit still, and especially because no. we're not on perfectly level ground. Exactly. So that's going every single thing like that is gonna if you're angled downwards, of course your stick point's practically not there, you know? If you're angled upwards, it's going to increase at depending on the angle in which you're going upwards. Basically, he fought through like when it started to bump and gurgle and pull again or start to like jump against him. I wasn't watching, but he did some amount of uh, clutch adjustment there because it started to get rough and then it became smooth. So that's little, that. I gave a little gas on the, on the added, letting off the clutch. I did adaptability. Get the fucking break on that too. Oh uh, yeah, you're good. You gotta get used to it. I was just trying to throw pointers. I feel you. I Based on the car, so the first gear. Cool on if we the go on the red real quick. Tiny. Do what? Cool if we go on the red real quick. Uh, you want to go straight across to that neighborhood? I can do that. Just something simple. Basically, I just want to see you get I feel into you. the. Yeah, we don't want to get we don't want to get carried away. No, I just want to see you get into <laughs> higher gears. Yeah. And then you're cool. Is that good? Um, that at first was what I said, but then you just kind of went with it, you know? Like you committed, but that's not bad to commit because we weren't in a bad situation. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. Like, at first you did like a little bit of a, a pendulum adjustment where you, you Put the clutch in a little, or a little as the throttle. Or put the throttle in a little as the clutch came out. Gotcha. But then you just kind of—it felt like at least you dropped the clutch, and then you just had to had to compensate with fuel versus doing them. Yeah, instead together. of doing it right. Yeah, instead of because I had to do the I had to do the throttle first, and then this is a stop. This is a dead end. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so you can compensate with fuel and it'll make it like yeah that's what i was saying at first is like that's why it's look at that it's, turning radius you usually could yeah. let the clutch out as fast as you were putting the clutch out at first but we couldn't do that in that scenario because you weren't doing any fuel there wasn't right. any throttle play to adjust so that's like the absolute that. absolute slowest you have to release it yeah gotcha that's why i kept saying slow down <laughs> so go right yeah right Focus window. Yeah, dude, it is. All right, so go right. Yep. So remember to keep your RPMs up with throttle. Oops, oh, sorry. When you're starting, you don't want to just rely on just the clutch. You know, that's just to keep you like in place at a hill. Yeah. And then you kind of then you throw in a little bit of throttle. Slipped off the clutch. That's why we're in the beater. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Then, okay, wait, I want to go faster, slower, or I'm rolling back, I need throttle, you know. Gotcha. It's like kind of like your step list, your checklist. That's why you start with clutch. Mm -hmm. You guys are, are a little more knowledgeable, so. It's kind of harder because you're jumping right into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to go off some of my, I mean, like, trust me, I'm, I'm, li I'm listening, but sometimes I'm just like, all right, fuck it, I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to do what I usually do. I don't know why. Right, I, and there, there's such a thing as bad habits, too. I would turn turn left, just turn around, you turn. What, what, are, you what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll back. I'm not going on the cook or on the branch hill. Oh, shit. Just let out a, just put it in neutral and roll back. Oh, that was 
bad timing. I know, right? You really came through at that moment. Come on, damn it. Neutral. I'm sorry. You're good. Freaking out. Yeah, it's okay. I almost want to get out onto the street and then... Just turn. You're okay. good, dude. Alright. It's okay to roll back. Let out the clutch a little bit. Just a little bit. And you'll stop rolling. That's when you find your stick point. That was good. Was very good. Um, thank you. Yeah, was Sorry, I was shit. just caught in a bad fucking spot. Yeah, right you there. just gotta kinda calm your calm yourself down and think one by one. I get the same way. Step bro. by Woo! step. Anxiety. It's all about like, step by step. Especially my boy right here too. Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He came rolling. <laughs> What's up guys? So, you saw today, we made a lot of progress with Colin. Uh, he's kind of figuring out the little habits that you gotta create and like Feeling checklists forward. and everything. You see Grant, he's made it in and out of first gear and into second gear. And I guess the next step, the only thing left is to get them both on the road and have them in some real life traffic situations. But as you can see, we're in less than ideal conditions today. Not a good day to do that. Uh, it was cold last night. Everybody's sliding all over anyways, let alone the the guys who don't know how to stop from the sliding. So we're not going to go out there today. Maybe in a future video. Uh, anything you'd like to say to the viewers? So far back to automatic right now. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm going to say is next step, Mount Akina. You already know. Yeah, we're going to go Tog. 